Hey guys, welcome to another home lab series video today. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can self-host uTransfer, which is a pretty simple file sharing um, solution that essentially you can upload a file, share it out with people, and they can download it essentially. So um, it's pretty simple. Um, you know, the the only reason, in my opinion, you would use something like this as opposed to you know like you know Slack or like your Facebook Messenger, or like Discord, is if you have like file limits. Say, for example, you want to transfer like uh, share like a four gig file. Yeah, that's not going to work very well in like a chat service like that. So this is like where a good way to you know transfer something that's huge. Um, to use something like this, keep it simple, and it's hopefully um, your internet and their internet is fast enough that you know downloading something that or uploading or downloading something that big um, it doesn't take days. I remember the back in the days when it would take like days to download gigs of data for you know your like GTA Five or whatever game you want to download. So you you start it overnight and then you let it run until the morning. Um, yeah, I don't miss those days. <laughs> so, but we'll get started. We'll show you how you can do it and have some fun. So. All right, so first thing we need to do is we'll create a server to essentially run this. Um, so we'll go through our you know basic steps here. If you've been following along with my series, we'll update our DNS um, so that we can easily resolve the new machine here. So we got our hosted zone here. We'll update our serial. And then we will create uTransfer and create the DNS entry. And we have to remember 89. Add you transfer, and if you're curious about all like you know the back end how this all works and my automation stuff, I do got an automation playlist series video, um, and you can follow along to kind of see all my playbooks, how I created them, kind of the little details on how it all works, um, so that you can do it yourself if you really wanted to. Um, but we're just gonna gloss over essentially and just add the stuff that we'll need. Um, so we'll add U transfer in our inventory for Ansible so that it can target it. Add U transfer, commit that, and we should be set. So we'll log into our AWX, and we will run through our workflow that will create the new VM patch it, install docker, configure the sets, and set up the Nginx proxy. Um, lots of stuff, very fun to automate. Um, so what we have is a transfer. The IP will be 89. Um, and then we'll just name the thing uTransfer. And then the proxy address. So in here, we can look at uh, uTransfer uh, docker. So they have their whole website here. We can scroll down. They have a Docker setup here, and they'll be using port 8000, um, or not 8000, 80. <laughs> There's a lot less zeros, guys. Um, they'll be using port 80, but we'll actually use like 8080 instead of 80 um, so that it doesn't interfere with our um, Nginx, or Nginx, sorry. Um, HTTP localhost 8080. So we'll update that when we... Uh, get to it. So we'll let this run. Take a few minutes, no biggie. Um, but we'll fast forward to the video. Fast forward the video when it finishes, and then we'll get the configuration stuff started. So stay tuned, guys. So now that it has finished installing and setting up the server, we should be able to now log in via SSH to our server. Um, and what we'll do is we will use the quick start for the Docker in here to essentially set up this server. So we'll create a script called start Docker, uh, which will essentially run the command that is here. Um, but we'll update a few things. So um, we'll want to, let's see, update this path so that it is dot uploads and then we'll need to update this path to be dot config config let's tab it out make it a little bit easier to read and then we need this here and then we're going to update the port to be 8080 
and then we're going to grab the image. So we'll save that and then we will make sure that the script is executable. So plus X and then we should be able to run it. So this will download the image, start it on port 8080. Um, and then we have our um, Nginx proxy um, that will essentially redirect to 8080 when we use HTTPS. So uh, this will allow us to essentially, you know, make sure it's secure when you're transferring, transferring stuff and everything with uh, HTTPS instead of uh, HTTP. So now it is running. So we can see that it's up running on 8080 we can cat our Nginx configuration and see that it's going to proxy pass 8080. So what we can do now is go to HTTPS, you transfer that dragon dot local. And you can see that uh, we can update the base URL too actually. So we'll update this. Um, so this is actually HTTPS, you transfer dot dragon dot local um, to get rid of the warning so now we can refresh that the warning goes away but there's a few other settings so you can actually set the transfer size so in this case uh, 2000 megs which is about two gigs um, accepted files and other things um, depending on how you want to set up your email you can set up an email provider um, as well as storage where you can enable encryption and how long you want to keep a file. Um, but what you guys are probably wanting is if you go to, you know, your local, your, your main page, you can upload a file in here and you can, if you set up email, you can email, but if you don't set up email, you can still use this hash. So this hash right here is essentially the link to um, download the file. So if you were to like tell your friend, hey, go to my uh, uTransfer you know, website and you want the token, you can give them this token, which is essentially this file right here, which is that token, and they can hit download and it will download that file for them. Um, so that is pretty neat, it's pretty simple. You upload it, you get a token, or if you set up uh, SMTP for emailing, you can email it over to, um, and they can uh, grab it. So. There you go, guys. That's how you set up uTransfer. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.